Turbo Tabo is a racing game released in 1981 by Sega. It was one of the most popular arcade games of 1981. The game was manufactured in three formats standard upright, cabaret, mini, and a seated environmental cockpit. All three versions feature a steering wheel, a gearshift for low and high gears, and an accelerator pedal. The screen is a vertically oriented 20 inch raster display. In addition to the on screen display, Turbo features an LED panel to the left of the screen that displays the current player's score and the high score table. Turbo also features lighted oil and temperature gauges on either side of the steering wheel. Turbo was ported to the ColecoVision and Intellivision home consoles. Gameplay Turbo requires the player to navigate a road race through different urban and rural locations, through differing weather conditions, and during changing times of day. The cars in the game resemble Formula One race cars. In order to proceed, the player must pass and stay ahead of at least 30 competing cars before time expires. Some opponents drive predictably, while others swerve across the road suddenly. In the first round, the player has unlimited lives. Collisions with other vehicles will return the player's car to the bottom of the current screen. In subsequent rounds, the player is limited to 3 lives and awarded an additional life up to a total of 4 for each completed round. In addition to competing racers, an ambulance occasionally comes along from behind and overtakes the player. They must be avoided as contact with them will cause the player to lose a life. The game will be over when all player lives are gone. Development Turbo was designed and coded by Steve Hanawa. In an interview, Hanawa stated that despite its historical significance as a precedent-setting racing video game, he considers the process of creating it to have been his worst development experience at Sega. Development of Turbo required such a difficult and protracted schedule of coding and debugging that he was hospitalized for a month following its completion due to stress, exhaustion and a spontaneously collapsed lung. Reception The arcade version of Turbo was reviewed by Computer and Video Games Magazine's July 1982 issue. They praised the realism, controls, marvelous graphical capabilities, and the variety of backgrounds and racing conditions on the screen. Turbo was reviewed by Video Magazine in its Arcade Alley column where it was hailed as the king of the video road. The ColecoVision version was praised for the effort that had gone into replicating the visuals of the original arcade version, with reviewers making special note of the varied, non-repetitive backgrounds that enticed players to play in order to see never-before-seen play scenes. Reviewers also commented favorably on the realism enhancing use of steering wheel, gas pedal, and gear shift peripherals. Arcade Express reviewed the ColecoVision version in January 1983 and scored it a perfect 10 out of 10, remarking that the King of the Coin Op Driving Games arrives in the home market. They stated that while it isn't as graphically arresting as the arcade version, it comes reasonably close to matching the multi scenario brilliance. And the special control panel lifts this cartridge to greatness. Topic <laughs> Legacy. An Atari 2600 port by Coleco was in development and advertised by Coleco, and but it was never completed, due in part to the lead programmer Michael Green having been struck and seriously injured by a drunk driver while riding a bicycle. The prototype, estimated to be about 80% complete, was found by another Coleco programmer, Anthony Henderson, in his attic in 2006. A turbo board game was released by Milton Bradley in 1983. In popular culture The upright cabinet of Turbo is seen in Rainbow's video for Death Alley Driver. Turbo is featured in the film Koyaanisqatsi. Turbo is James Halliday's favorite racing video game in Ready Player One film. Turbo is a major plot feature in Wreck-It Ralph. 